Awesome. The trail's groomed and there's some fresh snow. I'm meeting up with my old buddy Joe and we haven't ridden together in years so it's going to be a good day. He's got a Pro RMK boost and I'm pretty stoked to try it out. I've never been on a factory turbo. How about you? Have you guys ridden with factory turbo yet? Let us know down in the comments about your first impressions. Now I've got to try to stay awake on this drive. Am I losing my mind? Or is that the biggest dog you've ever seen? Yeah. Joe and Jason here. We're going to head up into the gully and might stay there all day. We'll see. Got the 850 Chaos running perfect. Got the boost. Ready to ride? Ready. <laughs> bad for 20 minutes in. Jason, come up the claims. Oh, we're unstuck. The boosty. Yeah. I think I'm gonna go back to an NA, but it's a debate, wait and go to a 9R, or just buy an 850 and put two grand into it to get it closer to the power of a 9R. For me, it's, I could mod this, but I want the 9R. I'll never be happy with an 850 modified. Always knowing that it's not the 9R, right? Awesome. Don't worry, I won't wreck it. Oh yeah. I won't wreck it. I'm not worried at all, today. I'll uh... Stop there and look at it and be like, did I lose any more paddles? Oh nice, yeah. it actually comes up as Cavillier too. It's yeah. just programmed to the sled. Yeah, well I just signed into your group, right? So... Oh right, okay. I have never actually done it. Colin did it online. The boost man. So this is 
the 165 Pro RMK Boost low bar, so it feels really different right away. Right away, you notice how planted it feels and heavy on the front. in the chaos. He's already ripping some wheelies. I noticed a different skis right away. Yeah, you do. Yeah. They don't wind up as quick on the line. Yeah, so again, I'd go half inch, five eighths. I got the tool ready if you want. And then this, back it out. Your sled just starts to dive, right? Well, let's try that. That's almost three quarters of an inch. Looks pretty good. So Joe has no 7S display right now. His is black, something's wrong with it. <laughs> Somebody stole the sign or something, hey? Remember, you used to say Le Chateau? Oh, yeah, on the shitter, yeah. That's I never a, noticed. That's it fell off. Woo! <laughs> That's a pretty fun line, eh? Yeah, I've hit it a few times this year. It's perfect. So that's not considered a stock, so you're still at two. Yeah. I didn't know what I could do if I had all my paddles. I would just run it like that, man. More track speed. Joe's track is missing all of the paddles up the middle of his track. Every single one. Did that on one stuck pin and wiggle. Must hit some rocks. <laughs> Here we are in Mirror Lake. It's pretty tracked up, but look at this sunshine. This is beauty.
you took off. Half a sled leg dish. Yeah. Watch this thing wheelie here. Ready? I'll just count three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> skis yeah there i'm fighting it 100 so i think that's your, your the biggest your, per issue is the ski keep your skis yeah keep your track and i'll just trade you yeah exactly <laughs>
The Boost Man. The boys have been calling me the Boost Man lately. My wife does not like it. There you go. Good spot for some shots. Some picture shots. I was just coming down here to do this. Oh, I'm gonna go do it. here just to hit that I love this jump man it's awesome <laughs> I kind of go across on it and it sends you like this, but then at the end it just, it's pretty fun. There he goes. No, that's a pretty fun one. up at the last second there so i gotta get the foot back on the board yeah that was pretty much straight up and around though yeah you did good that one i just didn't ride it out just didn't ride it out yeah you bailed too quick but i was completely stopped on the hill too eh? yeah no you did everything was perfect there until you were like no i'm out of here and you just yeah i don't feel like i gotta put some shin pads on maybe i'd be a little bit braver yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
cowboy basin. Supposedly there's a cowboy hat shadow or something. No. I've never seen it though. No. I have to ask Doug Dean. That's what he always called it. Turbo. Perfect day. Look at this bluebird sky. A couple clouds. Usually we come in here, it's so so hard to see flat light. We got spoiled today though, a little bit of fresh snow. No tracks. Lunch is definitely cooked. <laughs> Take the door off the oven. She's going to be a little bit hot. The trick is to do it quick. Hurl, hurl. Oh, ah. That's hot. Woo what is on the menu today? Holy, that's hot. Let's see what's on the menu today. Whoa, the parchment paper's a little burnt. This was a 11 p.m. sandwich special, Cavalier style. Would you look at that? Oh, I think that's bologna. Not sure, mystery meat from Costco. Some jalapeno cheddar. Yep. That's good. Hey too, thanks for the cookies. That was so good. Yeah. How far is it to the other side? Like to where you guys load? Five miles. And then it's only a few to the town. And you can ride right to town. Like this this goes right to town. Yeah, we went we went through in the side by sides um, in the summer. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, they grew like say they grew yeah, right from down, down. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Next weekend we'll go right down for we'll go have a drink in the land later, baby. There you go. <laughs> Somebody else can cook the steak. Yeah. <laughs> 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 day on the snow up in Elkford head back to my parents place have a little visit and then hit the road back up to Calgary I'm gonna have to have another one of these keep my eyes open spring has sprung look at how melty it is eight degrees 
I was way overdressed. So first impressions of the Boost versus my 850 Chaos. My 850 Chaos has quite a bit more bottom end power and snap to it. It's also a Chaos, so it's way more playful, lighter front end feel. His Boost is a 165 Pro RMK and it's very planted. First thing we did is we added more preload to the front track spring, took some off the back to try to get the front end to lift a little bit better, take some weight off the skis. Then I took it for a ride and the first thing I noticed within seconds, I hadn't even really given much gas, is he has different skis on. They have a plastic ridge on the outside, prevents you from getting the sled up on edge and that's how we turn in the mountains. So it was a struggle. You would have to do a lot of counter steer, get it up on edge and I'm used to riding on the side of the ski on the side of that keel, but those skis don't have it. And it, it just made the riding so difficult. And then you add the weight of the turbo and the factory muffler. Coming off my sled, it's 27 pounds lighter to begin with, plus I took another 10 pounds or so off with my lightweight cam. So it, my initial impressions was, this is very front end heavy. It's really planted. I'm used to a much lighter weight. Uh, but I didn't want to just say, okay, I don't like this. I had to ride it. Uh, I had to ride it a bit more. Get it pointed up a hill, and you don't really feel the power come on crazy strong. Like there's no hit to it. But pretty soon you are moving so fast. There's so much track speed. We did a little race, as you saw. Uh, I be I beat Joe out of the hole, and then he caught up to me and passed me pretty quickly. We did that two times. We both wheelied about the same amount, and then. I was gone and then he just blew past me. So on my last video, I snow checked a 9R and on the drive down here, I knew I was gonna be riding a boost and I was part of me is like, oh man, this boost, if I love this thing, I'm gonna be kicking myself for ordering that 9R. I mean, I could probably trade it for a boost, but uh, so, so after riding today in these conditions, which are pretty typical for us, more firm, maybe about a foot of powder, but nothing crazy. I, I really prefer a lightweight sled and so I'm, I'm pretty happy that I went with a 9R. But actually after riding my 850 today and just how, how awesome it was ripping, I don't even think I need the 9R. I just want it. I just, I like fancy things, right? So if you're like me and you ride kind of around Fernie and you're not getting a ton of deep days, I'm going 9R all day. I just love that lightweight. Five or 10 minutes on that boost and I could already feel my arms. Uh, the amount of weight that you have to throw around. Once the thing's moving though, and the skis are out off the ground, it doesn't feel too much heavier, but it's not for me. So some things I liked about the boost, crazy track speed, it's cool. Some things I didn't like, too much weight on the front end, not enough bottom end power, and you need to set a gripper skis on it. Things I like about the Chaos, tons of bottom end power, rippy, lightweight, and it's a chaos, so it has a much lighter front end feel, much more playful. That's the way I've been riding my whole life. I've just never been a turbo guy. I've never even ridden one before. We have some steep terrain around here, but we don't get the big deep days. If I was going out to Revelstoke, I'd get a chaos boost, probably a 155. But for out here, I'm going naturally aspirated all day long. So I've been checking out the analytics on my YouTube channel. And it turns out only 3% of you viewers are subscribed to my channel. So what's in it for you? If you subscribe, you're not gonna miss my next video. I'll pop up once in a while in your feed and it's gonna help me out a ton. So hit that button for me, thanks. That's pretty awesome.